Hi there, I'm Ludwig. This is SQL Bootcamp Online, the two-minute SQL series when I am addressing the most common questions regarding SQL Server and Azure. So, without further ado, let's jump straight into today's question. And today's question is how to manage SQL Server with PowerShell. So, in a previous video of this um, short series, I've answered the question what to do whenever you encounter an error of not being able to install any of the PowerShell modules, and we already solved that issue so make sure that you'll subscribe to this channel and look for that video if you ever seen that you're not able to resolve the package location of those modules so let me just jump straight into my uh, jump straight to my screen share which is hold on where is my screen share here it is so I have some old machine like this is Windows Server 2012 R2 data center uh, edition. So what I want to do right now is I want to manage my SQL Server and I do have the SQL Server in there using PowerShell. Now, how do I do that? Well, first of all, I need to learn whether my PowerShell can understand SQL. So in order to do that, what I need to do is I need to say, hey, dear PowerShell, let me just get all of the modules on, oh, not get the masking, but get modules the module is called sql server now i would like to list all of the available modules that i have right now in the system as you can see this list is empty so i cannot do anything with sql server what i need to do is i need to install that module right so i'll just install module which will be called sql server now if i'll be running a server if I'm running my um, PowerShell with the elevated privileges, that it's all that's all that I have to uh, I had to do, right? So I'll just press enter, I'll install the module. But if I'm not using the PowerShell in the elevated privileges, so again, I just run the PowerShell just like that without saying, hey, I want to run it as administrator. I would have to say that I want to run that with the scope of the current user that basically means that i can uh, run this query or sorry run this um command let in here run this powershell command only for the uh, current user and only current user will install the powershell module for themselves now again i will not install this the system wide i'll install this for only for this particular user so since i've already resolved any connectivity issues i just press enter i am being asked hey do you want to install this module from the untrusted repository this is what will happen most of the time if you have not uh, enabled the unrestricted access so I'll say yes that's perfectly fine with me and I need to wait for Windows to grab all of the content from this uh, library uh, and that's what will happen in just a moment so let's give it a second to configure and boom we are back i press the pause for a second to make sure that uh, we are not missing anything in here or you're not wasting your valuable time so right now i do have the sql server module installed and just run again this very same query Tada! you can see that the uh, 21st version of SQL Server module is being available. From this moment on, I can start managing my SQL Server using PowerShell. Now again, I can do that because I made a change to my operating system. I taught PowerShell how to operate with SQL Server because this is exactly how PowerShell share, well, this is exactly how PowerShell operates. PowerShell consists of modules where modules are basically you remember the scene from Matrix where Neo was learning uh, Kung Fu and uh, Taekwondo and all of the other martial arts, right? He was just being um, being taught using those little mini discs that uh, it wasn't Cypher uh, I don't remember who was the other guy who um, um, who was uh, teaching him the, this stuff by just uploading the modules to Neo's, Neo's mind. And this is exactly the same thing that works in PowerShell. We are uploading the modules. PowerShell is learning, oh, I right now know SQL Server. And this is what we achieved in here. So now you know how to manage SQL Server with the PowerShell step one. The step two is how to connect to SQL Server in order to start managing this, um, this environment in 
real life. And this is what we'll be covering in the very next module because we were way past the two minute mark on this two minute SQL series on SQL Bootcamp Online. I'm Ludwig, please subscribe to this um, channel in the meantime and give it a like if you found it useful and down below you should have the very next episode of this little series. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank <laughs> you.